Good morning, everyone. I had a good night's sleep, as you can see from my hair. Um, it is around 4.30 in the morning, and I'm just getting up and getting moving. For those who know me and have been following a while, 4.30 is pretty much my time. So we're going to make a cup of coffee and get this day going. One of the first and hardest decisions I make each day is which mug to use. <laughs> I know that some of you feel the same way. Uh, I'm actually going to use this one. It has like a bunch of different books. Jen Ross actually sent it to me. It might have been this Christmas, I can't remember. Um, but I love it. This is our coffee station. I have lots of questions about this machine. Absolutely love it. I actually linked it yesterday. Use it all the time. My parents swear that it's like the best coffee. My mom has even learned to use this machine the last time they were there. And then this is our Nespresso, which sometimes I go for as well. Just depends on my mood. Today, let me go with this one, I think. Um, I actually have to refill this. This organizer is the best thing though. I will leave it linked if you have Nespresso pods. It's perfect. And then also in this drawer, we have all of our teas, our honey, all those types of things. I love that I converted this to our coffee bar because it's just so nice. We used to have our machines on like one of these little side cabinet things, but like to bring it here, I have like little plates in there. I did this whole background myself. It's just molding that I cut and then painted, but it's like a whole little, whole little moment. I will say this is the new machine because our old one broke and it does not feel nearly as sturdy or well-made as our other one, but they don't make that one anymore. Oh, nothing beats a nice clean kitchen. I might have a piece of banana bread. I made this banana bread on Saturday. It got a little darker than I wanted, but I might have a piece of that for breakfast this morning. Oh, friends, I am a sweaty mess. I just did some strength training and some cardio. I'm gonna turn off the TV really quick. I'm also on a really big New Jersey Housewives kick. I've been working my way through all the seasons and really enjoying them. I kind of slept on some of them. This little buddy is having a great day. Is a good boy. He's the best boy in the whole world. He left a piece of carrot there. Did you find it? Right here. You got, you left a piece of carrot here too. Good boy. Steven is already off to work um, and I am going to get cleaned up. I'm actually going to show you my skincare routine today because I usually, I keep my skincare the same um, and it's been the same for a while. But about six months ago, I did add two new things and I've been loving them. So I definitely wanna share those with you. We're gonna cook today. Um, and who knows what else we'll get into. Um, yes, it's morning and I'm having a Coke Zero, but I have already drank three of these this morning. So there's that. This is my favorite cup. It's linked for you down below. Just like all things, I just try to link what I think you're going to wanna see or ask about, so that's all down below for you. Except him. I cannot link him because he is a one of a kind love bug. Yes, he's a one of a kind love bug. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I could not love an animal more. Say you're not an animal, you're a kiddo. Go get him. Go get him. I am just gonna pick up a little bit and then we will go ahead and get cleaned up and I'll share my skincare routine with you. I also just wanna thank all of you 
All of the love from yesterday's video meant the world to me. I tried to answer a lot of comments on Instagram. I read every single comment. You giving it thumbs up and commenting, it just means so much and it really helped me get over that hurdle of filming. Um, and I'm excited to be back with all of you. He's excited too. Are you excited? Do you have to go outside? Look at that face. Do you have to go outside? Oh, that's a yes. We'll have to go outside. While we are out here, this is something really cool I have to share with you. Okay, he is on the run. Well, he's 15 years old. He's not that on the run. <laughs> I think I could catch him. I also left all the shoes I washed out last night. All right, let me give you a rundown. Let me fix it first so it looks good. This is our outdoor area for this year, and I want to share something really cool that I was able to do. So these cushions and blankets are from Studio McGee a while ago, so I don't know if actually I know they're not available anymore. But my cushions used to be like a light sea foamy green color, and they looked awful. And I decided I needed to recover them, and I found the best way. So I bought a very tiny, about a quarter inch thick of plywood, and then really good Sunbrella outdoor material. I put the plywood on the bottom, and then staple gun and reupholstered with the Sunbrella and treated it, and it has upheld all season so far. They look so good. The Sunbrella material is incredible. And it was an easy way to save tons of money because outdoor cushions are so expensive. Then we upgraded our coffee table. This is from West Elm and it's concrete. And then we got the matching concrete buffet in the back. All of my lanterns are from Target. The tray is from Target. All of these planters are from Target. And then over here, I'll link this um, bed. It's really nice. And I have a cut flower garden and herbs going really well. We'll dive into that maybe later this week because it needs a little cleaning up. But reupholstered, piece of plywood, um, and sunbrella material. I redid all four of these cushions for probably $200. The material was the most expensive and I overbought on the material, but like it turned out so well. All right, now we will go get cleaned up. And he needs a cookie. Do you need a cookie? 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 Oh, yes. Let's get a cookie. All right, friends, we are going to do some skincare today. Now, I never blow dry my hair until after I'm all done and everything is dried. So, like, I do this amazing comb over. Don't hate. I mean, it looks stellar. All right, I already cleansed in the shower today. So, the only cleanser I use is the Aesop uh, Amazing Face Cleanser. It's my go-to. I've now used it for three years. Also, just so you know, I have combination skin. It's dry and a little oily, especially in the summer. But I take really good care of my skin. I get maybe three pimples a year. So, I don't change my routine, and I haven't for quite some time. Um, the only thing I'll sometimes switch out is my moisturizer, depending on the season. But I've actually found two new things I've been using for like three months that I, well, maybe even four months, that I really, really like. But everything kind of stays the same. Not kind of, it does, and it really works for me. So I always take care of cleansing. I usually cleanse in the shower. If not, then I cleanse when I step out. I also just washed my hands. Always wash your hands before you start any type of skincare. Um, I often find that people forget to wash their hands. Even if you just came out of the shower, still wash them. So my hands are freshly clean, and the first thing that I do is tone. There are two toners that I use. So I either use 
this dark spot toner. I have a tendency to get dark spots in my temples right now. I don't have them. They show up more for me in the winter, um, but my go-to toner most of the time is the Bitter Orange Astringent Toner, once again from Aesop. I will tell you, Aesop things are kind of expensive, but I know that they work. And they work really well. And very natural ingredients. So, just going to go ahead and put this toner on. Normally now, I would use my La Mer Hydrating Serum and my La Mer Soft Cream. These kind of have sat on the back burner, which I'm okay with because they're expensive. <laughs> These two products are also a little pricey, but nowhere near La Mer prices. So the first thing I go with is this Glycerine, completely vegan, and it is their beauty ointment. It is more of a serum salve, so I just get a little bit on my finger. And then, on my fingertips, I rub it together and warm it up because it is more of like a balm consistency. So about 10 seconds, and then I go in with that. Then I go in with the Rejuvenating Cream, also from Glycerine. A little bit of this goes a really long way. So I have just a little bit, and I like to dab it on, and then go in with my fingertips. Don't forget your neck. The next thing I do is my eye cream. I use this Ren eye cream. Once again, a little bit goes a long way. Rub it on my fingers, dab it. I like to dab it and then also put it right here. Once those products are on, I get my Nurse Jamie Roller. I love this thing. Also, you've probably seen this used by Sutton Strackey on Beverly Hills Housewives when she gets stressed. Never thought of using it for that, but I've been using this for a long time, and I love it. I use it to press in my product, and because it's metal, it doesn't pick up any of it. Just helps pat it in. Also, this helps the circulation in your skin. It's called a Resetting Refreshing Mist. It's by Super Goop. It is 40 SPF. I just do some quick sprays of that. And then the last thing I do, it is a Hydrating Euphoric Face and Body Mist by Sage in the scent Rose. It smells really good. And I just do that. And that is my skincare routine. It is super simple. It takes less than 10 minutes. But these products, I've really used them for a long time and I stand by them and I love them. So, done. It is about 4.30 and I am going to start dinner and getting things going. So right now I'm just getting my water boiling. I know you're gonna ask about these glasses too. They're all sold out or I would link them for you, but Sorry. I have my cookbook out. Bubby is eating his dinner. And like I told you yesterday, um, I have to take his collar off. Someone said about getting him higher bowls as he gets older, he won't eat out of them. We had elevated bowls for him and he refuses to eat out of them. So <laughs> we don't mess with it. Now, when I make a recipe, um, I like to just get everything out and pre-measured right away. So that's all I'm going to do. And you don't need that much stuff. Butter, olive oil, pepper flakes, cherry tomatoes, because I have to get through tomatoes, garlic, a cup of white wine, salt, zest of zest and juice of two lemons, parsley, I'll have to get that from the garden, some linguine, and then breadcrumbs. So it's pretty easy. I'm gonna get all that stuff situated. So I've started dinner. Um, the first thing I have to do is melt um, butter into olive oil and then a bunch of tomatoes I'm gonna add and then chili flakes. So that is how it starts. I just have some lemon zest and parsley. My linguine is going. I also toasted up some Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Essentially, all I'm going to do first is put get the butter melted and then add the tomatoes and chili flakes. 
until the tomatoes start bursting. So that's pretty melted down. Turn down the heat just a little. Let's add our tomatoes. Then our chili flakes. And I'm going to be pretty liberal with them. Great. All right, I'm gonna let these start bursting and cooking. Tomatoes are starting to burst. And what I mean by burst is you'll see, let me see if I can find one. I just heard one. Hmm. Like right here, you can see where this one is starting to break open. That one has bursted open. See how the skin has kind of started to come off? That's what you want. I have a, a little ways to go yet. The pasta is almost done. Steven just texted he is on his way home. So by the time I get all those tomatoes burst and the sauce made, it should be fine. I'm okay with taking my pasta off in the next couple seconds because I'm gonna throw it back in the pan once I make my sauce, it'll heat back up. So my tomatoes started to burst. I added a cup of white wine. And now I'm just gonna let that cook for about five minutes till all the alcohol of the wine cooks off. Then we're going to add the juice of lemons, parsley, lemon zest, and then the pasta, and then we're gonna toss it with some breadcrumbs. This was super easy and came together so quick. I finished off the sauce with the lemon juice and the lemon zest, and now I just added parsley. Look how beautiful and like thick that sauce got. Now I'm going to add the pasta, toss it, add the breadcrumbs, and then plate it. And I heard the garage door just open up, so Steven is home. Here's our pasta bowl. Let me grab that. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Looky. Daddy's home. Oh, you're filming? Hello, hello. Hi. Um, go change because this pasta has to be served right away. It okay. says serve immediately. Right. He already ate. All right, I'm gonna serve it up and then I'll let Steven be the verdict of it. So we are just sitting down. Bubba's is waiting for something to fall. How is it? He's not getting it. It's too spicy. It's very good. It is very spicy. But it, no, it's, 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 it's no more spicy than like the spicy Indian dish or, yeah. you know, like Mexican spicy food. Yeah. I mean, I, it's not like, bleh. It's. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad it's not bleh. Well, um, no, I mean, I'm, I'm saying I've eaten some spicy food where it's just been like fire coming out of my There's mouth. really good flavor to it though. Yes, there is. And I like the tomatoes because it makes the, it makes it sort of, it balances it out. Oh, look at you, Mr. Michelin. Isn't, what is that Michelin? Michelin star. Yes. No, I don't. I don't what I what do you think? <laughs> oh, he loves it He's too. He's not getting any of it. It's too spicy oh. for a dog. Okie dokie, friends. So I am going to sign off. What? Where are the advent calendars? I can buy a bunch. For July? <laughs> no. Well, I don't think they sell them, do they? Get on the Diptyque website. Get a what? Get on the Diptyque website. They're not. They're not available yet. October. Yeah. So okay. this Christmas in July is sorely lacking. It's Vlogmas. This Vlogmas in July is sorely lacking because there are no advent calendars. You're sorely lacking. Well, that may be, but there's sorry. There's no. All right. There's, <laughs> Let... co there's cooking tips. There's a geriatric <laughs> dog going to the vet, and fabulous me. Fabulous, Christopher. So that's All right, get out of here, go finish dinner. All right, friends, I'm going to sign off here like I sign off all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.